Intelligence is the ability to gather knowledge and skills and put them to use, including intellectual ability, possession of specific skills, and the ability to reason abstractly. Early researchers thought sensory capacity, or the degree of sense organ sensitivity, would predict intelligence. Later theories focused on processing speed, the rate at which someone takes in information, makes sense of it, and forms a response. Processing speed is strongly related to fluid intelligence, the ability to find new ways to solve problems or perform tasks. In contrast, crystallized intelligence involves knowledge accumulated over time and doesn't depend on processing speed, like a vocabulary test. Crystallized intelligence tends to increase as people age, whereas fluid intelligence tends to decline. Also central to intelligence is abstract thinking, which involves the ability to think about concepts and principles, identify patterns, and make generalizations about classes of objects. Convergent thinking is a cognitive process in which a person searches for a single correct answer to a question or problem. This type of thinking is supported by facts, knowledge, logic, and academic environment, like narrowing down the possible answers on a multiple choice test question to select the correct one. Divergent thinking is a cognitive process in which a person develops many unique creative responses to a question or problem, like thinking of responses to an essay question. Because it is so complex, Psychologists have developed many different models of intelligence. Charles Spearman theorized that a general intelligence factor, also known as G, underlies all intellectual ability. In other words, he thought that there was a broad mental capacity that influenced performance on all tasks measuring cognitive ability. Other psychologists, such as Howard Gardner, thought that models of intelligence should include skills that go beyond academic knowledge and quick thinking, extending to musical, interpersonal, and physical skills. Gardner's nine intelligences included musical, visual-spatial, verbal-linguistic, logical-mathematical, body-kinesthetic, interpersonal, intrapersonal, naturalistic, and existential intelligence. For example, professional athletes might have a high body-kinesthetic intelligence, or a high degree of physical coordination. While this theory of intelligence is popular, especially among educators, it has a number of very serious criticisms. For example, it is overly broad and hard to measure, and many of the things it identifies as an intelligence might be better considered hobbies or talents or personality traits. Robert Sternberg proposed a triarchic or three-pronged theory of analytical, creative, and practical intelligence. Analytical intelligence is like Spearman's general intelligence. It involves analytical or academic problem solving. The creative component is what allows a person to think of new ideas and adapt to new situations. And the practical component assists a person in handling everyday tasks where numerous solutions are possible and multitasking is required. 